welcome to one and all i am vasanta department of computer science gopal swami pu college mysore today we are to start with the session 13 on boolean algebra chapter on this chapter total weightage already explained total weightage of the chapter is 9 marks out of 9 marks 2 marks 2 question as well as 5 marks one question they will ask for 5 marks they will ask solve the equation by using carnot map this chapter is very easiest chapter if you study regarding carnot map then easily you can score 5 marks only carnot map if you study then you will get 100% 5 marks on your annual exam what do you mean by carnot map on this class you will study what do you mean by carnot map how to write that how to reduce the expression and how to get the final result regarding that you will study on this chapter whereas carnot map is also call it as key map or wench diagram also we can say carnot map is also called it as k map otherwise wench diagram also we can say and it is developed by maurice carnot it is developed by maurice carnot and with that here it helps to solve the equation in graphical methodology in graphic format in picture format in diagrammatic format we can solve the equation whereas in some other pattern also by using truth table also we can reduce or by using expression method also we can reduce or by using carnot map also we can reduce the expression whereas on this class you will study how to find the how to reduce the expression by using carnot map whereas already i told you this method helps to reduce the expression by using graphical format that is in pictorial format by using rectangular box i can find out which is the variable how to reduce the expression on this already i told you in a rectangular format by using in cell format i can find the reduced form of a given expression on this for example if you have two variables if i have two variables then how to write the carnot map and how to reduce the expression first if i have two variables then you will get only four cells four box you will get for example x and y are the variable x and y are the variable to the power of n number of cells we will get on this carnot map for example x and y are the variable then for both the cell write down x here also x on this part it write x and whereas in upper side it write y first step first check how many variables are there then depending upon the variables how many cells you will get that you have to identify first write down x part here then y part here then for x it is bar and for y it is bar only for first part it is bar we have what will be the designation what will be the value inside that first take down corresponding row and then corresponding column to take in corresponding row we have x bar then here column wise y bar next one second if we take the row wise here we have x bar and here we have y whereas next cell x then y bar corresponding row is x corresponding column is y bar now here once again x y then how to find the designation value first write down 0 then 1 next 2 then 3 for two variables if you have for three variables or three literals then how to find out see there 2 to the power of 3 that is 2 4 6 8 number of cells you will get for example here i am to take it as x and here i am to write y and z three variables first i am to write x in row format x x here y z y z y z y z in column wise only one variable that's why only for the first part i write in blind method i can remember in such a way that for first to three if i have four variables four cells in row wise or column wise on that time in blind method you can keep it for first three bar and for the last one it will be bar for the first three bar see for the first one second one and then third one first three bar and then for the last one it is bar first three and then last 
here if you want in the binary format also right you can you can write it as 0 here it is 1 whereas here 0 0 first cell 0 0 next here 0 1 here 1 1 1 1 next 1 0 now what will be the cell values here first write down corresponding row and then column x bar y bar z bar next take down x bar y bar z next corresponding row is x bar y z next x bar y z bar x bar y z bar next take down x y bar z bar next x y bar z next x y z corresponding row and corresponding column value to take x y z bar now their corresponding in cardinal map keep it in your mind whenever third row as well as third columns come on that time it will take a single gem see first 0 then 1 here usually we used to write 2 but it takes single gem then here 2 then 3 here 0 1 on this place don't write 2 their cell address their designation address it takes single gem that's why here I don't 2 and then 3 here then 4 5 on this place it will write 6 but it takes single gem that's why here 6 and then here 7 this will be the designation value of the given k map here also see here this is the designation value now if you have 4 variables 4 variables then how to write the Carnot map 2 to the power of n number of cells you will get 4 means 2 to the power of 4 then how many cells you will get that you have to identify first see for example w x and this side y z i am to write first step write on w x in all the part w x w x w x w x and here y z y z y z y z now on blind method if you have four variables then what you have to do first three bar and then last one will be the complement bar one two three and then for the last one that is complemented here also one two three and then for the last one it will be complemented in mean term whereas in max term it's a reverse of that see then what will the cell value w bar x bar y bar z bar next on this cell w bar x bar y bar z corresponding row and corresponding column it will take here w bar x bar y z next once again w bar x bar y z bar next same pattern right in corresponding row and corresponding column w bar x y bar z bar next write down w bar x y bar z w bar x y z corresponding column once again w bar x y z bar next here once again w x y bar z bar w x y bar z w x y z w x y z bar next w x bar y bar z bar corresponding column and row w x bar y bar then z w x bar y z w x bar y z bar third row and third column it will take single gem then what is the designation number first starts with 0 1 don't write here 3 because it is third column write down here 2 and then 3 next 4 5 third column that's why here write down 6 and then here 7 once again third row it comes that's why don't start 8 from here take a single gem then here after 7 we used to write generally 8 here but here you have to write because in third 
column as well as in third row it takes single champ that's why 8 9 don't write 10 here 10 11 then 12 13 14 15 see here 0 1 2 third row third column as well as third row it takes single champ 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 here then third row that's why once again it takes single champs 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 now this will represent the designation or designation number now is it clear for 5 variable if you are 6 variable depending upon that you will get the kernel map this generally represents the kernel map for 2 variable this represents kernel map for 2 or 3 variable and this represents kernel map for 4 variable first step itself to solve any equation first identify how many variables we have depending upon that write down the cells their values as well as position that represents the second step then next what you have to do see here which variable is common that you have to identify if you see the first part we don't have any common property because only one literal here we have if you take here these two rows we don't have any common variables literals that's why we are not going to get reduce it form if you take these two part these two parts these two part then you can identify the common factor for example if i'm going to take these two part which is common here if i'm going to take these two rows which is common that i have to identify for example on this w bar become common factor w bar become common factor see here x bar x will cancel w bar w bar if i'm going to take these two columns see here x and x bar will cancel common will be w here now if i'm going to consider these two rows that is row number two and row number three on these two which is common factor x is common factor now is it clear then from these two rows which is common that you have to identify from these two z bar and z will cancel common factor will be represents y bar if i'm going to consider these two columns which is common on these two z y bar and y will cancel common represents z and on these two columns on these two columns which is common z and z bar will cancel y is common now is it clear like that i can identify which is common factor on the given expression by using that i can able to reduce the given expression if i want to solve any k map first step write the k map representation how many variables we have then write on the mean term value in the question if they are given mean term then write on wherever the mean term value they are given they write on one for the remaining cell write down 0 then next step first step write the k map second step fill values 1 wherever the mean term values they are given then adjacent 1 you have to circle properly depending upon the roll map octal quad pair as well as single depending upon that you have to circle the given expression and then finally reduce the given expression for example if i want to solve any expression first i have to write a rough k map and then i will tell you how to identify how to solve the given expression how to identify the adjacent circle that i am to tell you now for example if you have first solve k map under that first i have to check role mapping role mapping then second you have to identify octet octet next you have to identify quad next you have to find out the pair pair finally you have to find out the single in role map also once again you have to check octet quad next you have to find out pair then what do you mean by role mapping role mapping means consider this is your k map 
If the corridors are matching, then I can say it as role mapping. For example, here also we have values, here also we have values. If I combine these parts, this has to be matching. Then it can be called as role mapping. If I want, I can combine here. Otherwise, consider this is the K map. If I want, I can combine like this. These borders, if it is matching, then I used to call it as K map. K map under that role mapping. For example, if I have all the borders 1, for example, consider this is a K map. If I am going to fold this pattern, if all the borders are matching, combining, then also I can call it as role mapping. That I am going to show with a K map pattern. Consider we have a K map. Consider here we have 1, 1, 1. Here also 1, 1, 1, 1. Consider this is your K map. Consider your K map. When you combine this, the border has to be combined. This is your whole map. Otherwise, <coughs> here also I am having one, here also I am having one. Then I can combine these two ones because consider this is your K map. On this, if I combine this, only the border one is matching. On this also in roll map, first you have to check for octal. Octal means 8. For example, if you have one more cardinal map, I will show you. Like this, if you have one, then I can roll map this two part. This is your K map. I can combine like this. These four I can take. That is octal. In roll map also, we have to check whether it is octal or quad or pair that you have to check. Then what do you mean by octal or octet? In octet, four adjacent position has to be combined. For example, consider this one K map on that adjacent four ones are matching or combining. Then we can say it as it is quad. For example, here if I am having one, here if you are having one, then we can combine these four. This is nothing but quad. Four variable. Octet means eight has to be combined. Quad means four has to be combined. And pair. For example, the same K map I am to take. And then on that we will explain pair. For example, here also I am having one. And here also I am having one. Then two adjacent one if I am going to circle it, then it can be called as pair, pair. Role mapping first I have to check, then under that also octet, quad, then I have to check pair. After that next I have to check octet, then quad, pair. Then later on finally we have to check for single. For example here if I am having one, any one variable, only one variable in the given expression. For example, here only I am to take one. I am not able to circle any adjacent one. In this pattern, if I am going to combine, then it is not can be called as a K map. Then this is single. First, you have to check these rules. Roll map, octet, quad, pair and then single. Finally, after that, you have to write the reduced expression. Next class, I am to explain how to solve a K map for a given expression. How to write the reduced form by using min term as well as max term. That I am to explain you in the next class. Whereas on this class, you have studied what do you mean by K map, who developed and what is the another name for that, what exactly the, by using K map, what we exactly do, what do you mean by quad, octal, octet, role mapping, pair and then single. Regarding that, you have studied on this class. The remaining thing we will explain in the next class. Thank you for all of you.